probably one of the most anticipated video cards to be released is the NVIDIA 5070 Plain Jane and the 5070 Ti or Ti if you prefer. These video cards are going to be the middle of the road and somewhat affordable. I believe the 5070 Plain Jane one will come in at under $600 US. That is still expensive because that's double here in Canada. That will be around $1,100 or $1,200. That is a lot of money for just a middle of the road video card. It's terrible. Everything is so expensive these days. But this video card will release on February the 20th, 2025, right around the same time AMD is releasing their RX 9070. Is that good or bad? Well, I think it's good because it might lower the prices. Competition is good for the consumer. Now, of course, an NVIDIA video card can do things that an AMD video card can't do, but we'll have to wait and see what the pricing will be. And for example, if the AMD video card comes in that may be $100 to $150 less, that could attract a lot of people because if you are on a budget, that is very, very important, especially these days and the economy that we are living in. Now, what about the performance difference from the previous generation, the 4070? Well, it looks like it will be moderately faster. We'll have to wait and see, though, until legitimate reviewers get a hold of these cards and pit them up against the 4070 video cards. And I am really looking forward to results that are done without using AI technologies like multi-frame generation and DLSS to show the true performance, the performance gains from this generation, the 50 series over the 40 series. That is very important because, you know, if it is 10 or 20%, is it worth upgrading. Maybe, maybe not. That's something that you will have to decide. Let's go over some of the specs for the 5070. And these are rather impressive for a middle-of-the-road video card. Now, these are baseline specs, so when manufacturers get them, it might come with more VRAM. It might have a faster boost clock and thus have more memory bandwidth. But these are the specifications as listed in this particular article here. 8,960 CUDA cores, 16 gigabytes of very fast GDDR7 memory. That's plenty of VRAM, by the way, and it will future-proof your purchase if you're worried about that. The boost clock at base is 2.45 gigahertz, and the memory bandwidth is 896 gigabytes per second. But make sure you go over here, check this article out. I'll provide the link to it like I always do in the YouTube description down below. And I have a question for you. Will you be getting an NVIDIA 50 series video card, specifically a 5070 or a 5070 Ti? And I guess, do you have a 40 series video card? I know I won't be upgrading, I don't think. But you never know.